What's going on you guys? It's your boy Artie, Executive Director of Film Miss Art, and today we're taking a look at Braylon Allen, the running back from Wisconsin University. As you guys can see via his scouting report, um, this young man is a throwback style NFL running back. He's got a build at 6'2", 245. He's extremely patient while setting up his blocks, allows him to develop before running into brick walls. He finishes, runs violently, and just as a through and through north and south runner. Um, some things that I would like to see him improve on, as we'll get to later in the film session, is his lack of explosive athleticism. It's not that he's not athletic, it's not that he's not explosive, but he lacks explosive athleticism. Um, and I would like to see him be more of a threat in the passing game, even though I could make the argument that some of it is just the way Wisconsin utilized him. As you guys are seeing here, um, these runs that we're about to take a look at while I briefly, you know, continue to go over uh, who Braylon Allen is and who he isn't as a prospect quickly. Um, these runs are um, from a uh, single back or I formation and they're uh, designed uh, to be inside zone runs. Just wanted to uh, clear that up for everyone so everyone understands what's going on here. But um, Braylon Allen, where do you start? I mean, you start with obviously, obviously that that frame that this young man has at six two two forty five. It's just, it's just outstanding. It's it's just it's just so rare in today's league to find a back with throwback style, you know, frame like that. Just awesome. I think the next thing I would like to talk about as we transition here a little little bit on the. Uh, film as well is you know some outside zone runs and let's talk about his feet out of all the guys in this class he probably has some of the best footwork for a guy plus uh 220 you guys are going to see some of the best jump cuts some of the best um some of the best uh um horizontal movements um lane um cut back lane cut back lane finds that you'll find in any back in this entire class with um, Braylon Allen. I mean, look at this cutback right here. That, that, that's outstanding. That's an outstanding jump cut um, off the cut down block by the lineman there. And at the NFL level, you're going to have to be able to do these things um, effectively. This is not something to where, you know, oh, it's about just, you know, speed and, you know, it's just about power. No, these these runs that that Braylon is putting on tape right now, and that Braylon has in his in his uh, collection of film, are the hard runs, the the tough runs, the four to five yard gains that don't look like much, but um, you know, matter especially at the end of the game because what Braylon Allen does, is he's a bruiser. You know, he beats up these linebackers, he beats up these safeties to the point by the end of the game they don't want to tackle. They don't want to tackle. And that's and that's something that you know some NFL teams are going to cover. It. See here him getting to the outside, continuing to um, fight through first contact. A lot of running backs, when they meet first contact, you know they 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 start going to the ground. Braylon Allen, as you'll see here, he meets first contact and it doesn't phase him. He just keeps on <laughs> joking and getting additional yards after contact. Let's look at some uh, design cutback uh, lanes and what he does with them. Um, I love this play call, by the way. It's like a draw. But you see how he identifies the lane, and he just continues to chug up the field north. This is another good example here. You see the big cutback lane opened up by the clear-out block by the right tackle, forming a seal on that side with the help of the fullback. And then you see what he does you know, after contact there. Just, just an awesome job showing off his vision. Getting here outside zone to the right. I love I love how patient Braylon Allen is. I mentioned it earlier reading off of his scouting report, obviously, but his patience as a runner and the ability that he has to set up his blocks is something that is gonna serve him very, very well at the next level. Because at the next level, you're gonna have to be patient. Um and I think overall, as we watch him have some of his explosive runs as we close out here. I think overall, I think that Brandon Allen 
who won the draft set? It's going to have to be a situation to where he can get those touches in a row. Like, I think I think if I could comp a running back run style to Braylon Allen, it's kind of like Ezekiel Elliott, right, from the Dallas Cowboys and now the New England Patriots. He's a guy that kind of needs his engine churned. He needs to get going. And if he's going to get going, you're going to have to give him carries. And we'll get into some of the team fits later, but there's some teams that could use a workhorse back like Braylon Allen to really um, help their offenses in the 2024 NFL season. And you see here the long speed a little bit against Ohio State in 2022. Um, the long touchdown here. This wasn't garbage time, but just put this in for context just to show you know what he looks like when he is in the open field. Um, so, yeah. Checking out Braylon Allen's career stats here. You see the rushing touchdowns. You see the yards per carry of 5.9. The receptions, um, not expected. So, 35 rushing touchdowns for his career on 597 carries. You see some of the team fits here for Braylon Allen. The Cowboys, in my opinion, as a Cowboys fan, a big, big, big time fit. Uh, Chicago Bears, because of his physical nature, could complement Roshan Johnson from Texas well. Um, Tennessee makes the most sense, even though they already have uh, Derrick Henry. So that's a fun one. Uh, the Buffalo Bills, uh, that would be a really, really nice pairing with James Cook. And uh, if the Packers don't want to pay A.J. Dillon, you know, you could just, you could just pick up uh, AJ Dillon's little brother in Braylon Allen. 